Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite low light tolerant houseplants. Now I say low light tolerant because a lot of the plants that are marketed as low light or sometimes even no light actually prefer a bit of a higher lighting setting, but they are able to tolerate and live and even grow in low light settings. I tried to choose a variety of different plants and I can't wait to show you them, but first a message from today's sponsor. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, they're an online learning community with thousands of different classes. I recently enjoyed the class, video for Instagram, tell an engaging story in less than a minute. The teacher was so energetic and so vibrant and it really left me eager to create. I've learned so much from Skillshare regarding personal, creative, and business development, and I highly recommend it if there's a hobby or interest that you've been wanting to cultivate. They have so many different topics that you can choose from and I always enjoy the classes. This past year has pushed us all to grow so much and Skillshare can help you to reach whatever goals you've set for yourself. If you've been wanting to try out Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring the video and let's hop into the plants. So the first plant that I'm going to talk to you about today is the beautiful Thanksgiving cactus. This likely goes for most holiday cactus. The Thanksgiving is the only variety that I have. I would love to have an Easter cactus, but I have yet to come across one. But if you're not familiar, holiday cactus are a type of jungle cactus and they are very very easy care. This is one of the plants that has been with me from the time that I did not know anything about plant keeping and she is still with us today. So that is really saying something. And they can really tolerate a variety of lighting conditions. I have had her in uh, a dim lit corner. I have had her in a south facing window getting full sun um, and she hasn't really complained about anything. The one thing that I will say uh, regarding lighting with these is that in order to trigger their blooms, they do prefer lower light and lower temperatures. So grow lights aren't great if you do want yours to bloom. I had that experience in the fall. I had her under a grow light and uh, Thanksgiving time rolled around and she was not giving me any blooms. And then a bunch of people reached out to me and informed me that they need lower light and lower temperatures. So that just goes to show that she can definitely thrive and even bloom for you when she's getting less light. Now, most of these plants that I'm gonna talk about today do actually live in a north facing window. So that can give you kind of an idea of the type of exposure that they get. But yes, this is the first one on my list. Super easy care plant, uh, Thanksgiving cactus. Second plant on my list is also an OG wild fern plant. Um, I have had this thing for several years now as well. This is my Drusina. I believe that this is called Drusina Lemon Lime. Um, she has been with me through, you know, multiple moves. Um, yeah, and definitely a contender for one of my most top neglected plants. And she honestly never really complains. So yes, love her. She is actually pulled several feet away from a north facing window. Really, really does not get a lot of light and she's perfectly happy. Um, really honestly doesn't get a lot of water either. Probably only need to water this thing about once a month. It's in a concrete planter, but you can see she is giving me some new growth at the top there. So she's doing perfectly fine. And yeah, she's been with me for years. So definitely if you're looking for a plant, especially like a bigger plant, because this is really beautiful. And I'm just, I know that these are not, I don't know why I never feature her on my channel. She doesn't really get any airtime, but honestly she should because I love the vibe of these plants. Like they look very like eighties or nineties to me. I don't know. I just, I just love them. I love the energy you give off. You know what I mean? Like, she's a vibe for sure. So yeah, if you're looking to fill a space in your room that does not get a lot of light, definitely look into a Drusina. Next on my list is actually a Begonia, specifically Begonia Linda Dawn. So this is a Begonia that has really beautiful dark foliage. She was just going through a rough patch, so excuse her. She is not looking top notch. She's not in her prime, but I still had to show her and talk about her because this plant, uh, basically needs lower lighting to maintain its beautiful dark foliage. In my experience, when I had this in a higher lighting situation, um, it was either getting damage on its leaves or it was putting out 
foliage that looked basically completely different. Um, I have a begonia linda dawn that's under my grow lights and many people have argued with me telling me that it's a benigo pink but it's actually the linda dawn um, just transformed under the grow lights. This leaf you can see a little like it gets these pink spots um, but she but when she's grown in less lighting she just has plain dark foliage. So it's really cool how she can totally like change her look depending on the light but I actually prefer just this dark foliage so I moved her this one into a north facing window um, just to kind of maintain that. So if you don't have a lot of light and you want a beautiful dark foliage plant then maybe check out Begonia Linda Dawn. There tends to be in the plant world like a general thing where the darker the foliage, the less light the plant needs. Um, so, and I have found that this is true for the most part. Um, so things like my uh, ZZ Raven, um, it's true. That thing does not need very much light at all. But then of course there's always exceptions to the rule. So, okay, next, got a big one here. Next is my Sansevieria. Uh, my starfish sense of area that's what this is now she is massive and she currently lives right in our north facing window and as you can see she is putting out a new growth point there oh my goodness those arms are gonna these are like a foot and a half long probably already so that new one is just gonna be unreal but yes this plant is very 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 low fuss we honestly ignore it. It needs a drink right now. It, you can feel like it's a little bit soft when it needs a drink, but this is just such an interesting and unique plant, like definitely a statement piece. And she has just been growing huge and thriving in the north facing window. Um, a lot of snake plants do really well in lower lighting, um, but they will take off if you give them higher lighting. And some of the lighter varieties need a little bit higher lighting, like my uh, moonshine snake plant that one grows a lot better if I give it more light because the foliage starts coming out just a little bit darker when it's not given enough light but yes anyways this one seemed to do perfectly in the north facing window so if you're looking for something a little funky check this guy out all right next I'm going to talk about a classic and that is Maranta um kind of Maranta in general because uh this is the lemon lime but the red vein and even the variegated one can do well in lower lighting this one actually lived in our bathroom like getting very low dappled lighting for quite some time and did really well there of course it enjoyed the humidity and yeah this is kind of another one that's really flexible they can get they can be given higher lighting and I have seen them put out some pretty epic leaves under my grow lights but it also does really well in low lighting so it's a really great option if you're looking for something kind of more leafy foliagey. Um, these even start trailing once they get larger and you can put them in a hanging basket. Really just beautiful interesting leaves. I love Maranta. And they are quite easy going if you are consistent with the watering. They do like to stay on the moist side. So of course this guy's in terracotta, so I'm watering pretty fre frequently. But overall, I wouldn't say that these are tricky plants and they propagate super easily as well. I have a whole care video on Maranta. If you're interested in that, I will link it above. And then the last one I'm going to talk about today is the cast iron plant. Now this is the Milky Way variety that we have here. You can see it has speckling on the foliage. That's where the name comes from. And these plants are known for being super low key. Um, I believe that the name cast iron is supposed to symbolize them being like indestructible. This is actually Shane's and that's why he was drawn to it. But yeah, very easy plant. This is actually like very flexible with its lighting conditions as well. For most of its life, we have grown it in a north facing window and it's done really well. It definitely gets a little bit droopier when it's thirsty and we do not do anything special for it. Um, it's kind of in the neglect group with the Drusina. But honestly, I really appreciate that. I love plants that I don't like need to hover over. You know what I mean? I have enough of those. So this is actually a good option for people who like the look of a fuller plant with a lot of like longer leaves, um, but you don't want a peace lily because I know a lot of people don't want peace lilies. They think that they're boring, that they're mall plants, um, which I don't necessarily agree with, but I understand where you're coming from. This is a good option for you. Check out the cast iron plant and much less thirsty than a peace lily too. 
Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video gave you some ideas for different plants that you can grow in the lower light areas of your home. Once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. That link will be down in the description box below. Please leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.